Well, it looks like we got a little machine shop mini mill. This is not the high torque model. This is the one with the gears in it, but definitely good enough for me. Um, I didn't get no accessories with it yet. I got to see what the hell I got to get. But it's got to go up there on the top of the workbench. And I'm probably going to save that crate and paint it because this is under carport. Even though it's deep under the carport and it down to get wet, I'll just like put the crate over it when I'm not using it. And, you know, just in case there's a little dampness or some shit. Just as good as being in the garage. So, um, oh, here's Boots. Hey, Boots. <laughs> you want some food? I feel kind of weak today because I just had a cold. Vitamin C knocked it out pretty damn good, but anyway, let's see what we got here. Uh. Alright, Boo Boo, you gotta give him some food. I uh, get these straps off of here and uh, take the crate. I'm gonna, I think it's only 126 pounds. I should be able to lift it, but I'm not feeling too freaking up today. Uh, I took actually, uh, what the hell did I take? 14,000 liposomal vitamin C and 30,000 oral. Knocked most of it out, really. Just feel a little tired, though. Cold. So, I'm going to get this up there and we'll take a look at it. All right, boots. You run to the car. Okay, good. Well, that's the hard part. Good thing I use this hoist, too, engine hoist. Uh, let's see, I just lifted it up, put the strap under the crate, extended the boom all the way. It's uh, 126 pounds, but I don't know what the crate is, maybe it's 10 pounds. I'm probably going to leave it on that wood. Seems okay. Seems pretty solid. I don't know if that's good enough, but I could take it off later and bolt it to this. Not sure if I need that, but uh, this is the one that's cheaper. <laughs> it's five ninety nine, six hundred bucks, basically two hundred for shipping. And uh, you know, from what I've heard, this is not bad. It's like I'm not going to use it enough. I don't plan to use it enough. I don't think I really even needed this. But I figured I'd get this instead of a drill press. A better drill press. You know, going to town with this. Now, I don't have the vice or nothing like that. And, uh, got to read the directions. Here's the, uh, it's probably got a little handle that goes on this thing or something. Right here, right? But, and, uh, I'm going to save that crate down there that's going to go around this when I'm not using it. I'm actually going to paint it so when it's under the carport, I'll we'll probably put shingles on that crate or paint it. You know, it doesn't get wet under here, but it might get a little overspray. But with that crate, it should be fine. Yeah. You can see this is just a fine tune adjustment. I think something's in here is locked or something. I got to look at the directions. But yeah, that's the baby. That's the baby. So, I don't think I could have lifted that even if I was feeling strong because it's too high it's too high I can get I remember getting the engine in the back of that Harley uh, the Harley engine with the trans in the back of that El Camino but it's this high I could probably lift this maybe this high but to get it up that extra inches yeah, I don't think I could have done that even if I felt good doubt it <laughs> doubt it highly doubt it but this worked out pretty good. It's a folding engine stand. So it's got, it's got pins in it and stuff. Rolls on wheels. It extends with the boom. You can see that. You know. Here's the boom. I had my Hill the Beast rope here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, and it probably is going to come off of this thing. But I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> well, there's a lot of oil on it, that's for sure. Um, this thing, you pull it out. If you pull this out, then this wheel works. You go weird. And if you push it in, then you got your fine tune. 
there you go push it in all the way and you got your fine tune see which is pretty cool this is a hell of a lot better than a drill press that's for sure man god and i guess that box has uh the box over there that little brown box has little handles for this stuff this might be a, a chipper collector or something and this this locks it right here so if you pull this out ugh, well that locks it this 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 thing locks it it's nice and simple because i i'm not really good at this kind of shit man yeah that locks it so this i don't know what the hell that does oh that's this this is like your your stop coming down I didn't read the directions yet, so see, that's your stop for coming down. You only go so far. It's pretty. You know what I'm gonna get though for it. I don't think they sell it in a little machine shop. Is um, since this is a solid column, I'm gonna get the device that turns like it's it's a tilt vice because the solid columns. I, that's what I was researching. These I was thinking get something cheap, but something cheap that can work good because this got for the size of this thing it's got you know it does a long XYZ axis and all that for what it is and um, the motors noisier because it's not the uh, high torque brushless motor but somebody said that they had to think 15 years they never changed the brushes and the only thing you can break is the gears just a couple gears in here um, but that's only if you jam it like you, you push it too hard and the gears are cheap, so I might get a couple sets of those. Just keep them on hand. And uh, but I don't plan to use it that much. I just figured this is a hell of a lot better than a drill press. Way a lot better. I mean, it's you know, it's I mean, it's not like the best mini. Oh, it's not bad. But what I'm going to get though is that vice that has uh, like degrees. Instead of this turning, you can put the part in here and have the vice turn like this at an angle. And then this thing, this solid column is a lot more steady. So, let's see if I can turn it on see what it does. And you can see the size of this cord compared to this extension cord. It's supposed to take like 8 amps. And like most, even the crappiest household breakers usually got 15 amps. Now you can use this on anything. This is a 350 watt motor. The high torque is 500, but it's geared. And it's good enough, man. Good enough. Let's see what happens. Nothing, huh? we got here yeah I forgot to turn the switch on so this has got to go on and you got to turn this oops just had it oh you got to turn it off turn it on maybe hmm just had it it just was working power huh. wait a minute off it's got a low On. There it is. That light was on. That's what it was. You gotta like reset it. So here it is. So that was on low. And if I change it to high, normally you don't use it on high. There you go. And put it back on. And you don't change these gears when it's running. You screw it up. There it is. And that's got to be flipped all the way up. Maybe that was the problem. I didn't have that flipped all the way up. So on. There you go. 
it's not that loud, especially using it outside. <sighs> it's not that loud at all. It doesn't bother me. So there you go. Now, just got to put these thing away, get this folded up, make paint that box up. I'll probably leave this like this. This is probably okay. It's it's probably solid enough. Once I get it all up back there, up against the wall and shit, that'll be pretty good. That'll be pretty good. Well, stand back here a little bit. Here it is. There's General Lee Drive. There's Boots the Cat's place. He's gonna boots the class. Boots the Cat is gonna be my assistant machinist. And uh, we're all set. And here's the engine engine hoist thing I used to lift it up yeah that should be all right I don't know I've seen some people say they had to think 15 20 years or something already and they I, I know they used it a hell of a lot more than I'm ever gonna use this thing so that's why I went with this I just figure it's like a lot it's a several steps up from a drill press by far you know I'm not really gonna be doing too much machining stuff but uh, that's pretty cool if you got to make some brackets or anything like that or any kind of parts and you know the next thing I'll probably get after that, well I'll get some accessories for this and I'll get the lathe. So there you go, one General Lee place and there's your Chinese mini mill but sometimes you gotta buy China because you know I can spend five grand on something like this that I'm not gonna use too much. It's perfect for me.